rises again. Well, it, it was only a matter of time. And when I doubted, Ninja Day was there to remind me that we have solid support at about $30,000. I think it's hilarious that the average of this entire accumulation phase was about 33,000. That's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right, but we're approaching our first potential resistance point. It's really hard to say if we're going to have to kind of really battle through any of these levels or if we're just going to go sort of kind of quickly to in price discovery mode. But I want to say what I'm going to do once we're in price discovery mode, as in we're breaking past the all-time high. There's no resistance. Like, technically, anything's possible. That's why people are saying these crazy numbers, like 200K, whatever. But technically speaking, I actually think 80,000 is, is a pretty realistic target to be definitely taking a lot of profits off the table. So I'm just going to throw that number out there for you guys in terms of like, look for that Bitcoin 80,000. And that's going to help you decide when to be taking profits on things like ban protocol and things like new cipher. Because like we said, these are completely dependent on what Bitcoin does, right? They have insane retracement potential. So for example, if Bitcoin's in price discovery mode, a lot of altcoins will also be in price discovery mode, but Bitcoin only really has to double till it gets to price discovery mode, right? <laughs> New cipher, dude. It's going to go like literally five and a half X <laughs> before it's in price discovery mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this market is seriously set up for literally like a spring loaded nuclear warhead. Like it's, it's just, it's going to be silly. It's going to be freaking silly. So we basically just got to turn our minds into that like profit taking mode. I know it's so early to already say that, but you want to you want to just get your brain there, dude, because once you hit that Bitcoin blow off top, we are definitely going into a, probably a bear market, you know, and that's fine. That's healthy. That's just going to give all kinds of established price support. At these new highs, you know, these new high lows, rather, 30,000, 40,000, whatever. That's how that's how much Bitcoin is going to correct at the end of this. You know, that's that's going to be intense. That's why you got to be taking profits the whole way up. Bitcoin is literally going to like, in my mind, you know, maybe it will hit 100,000 before the end of the year or before the end of the bull market. But when it does, you know where it's going to correct to, right? You guys know. Oh, wow. It doesn't even show it on this chart. So dumb. Well... It's literally going to correct probably to about this level, probably about to the, around 18, 20,000. And I'm, I'm looking for that previous all time 20,000, but it, wow, it's not on the Binance daily chart, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying that uh, the previous bull market all time high will probably be tested again. And it didn't get tested in this accumulation phase, which people thought this was going to dump down to 20. It will retrace down to about 20,000 at some point. I promise you that Bitcoin will. So think about how that's going to be mind crushing to people who bought it up around 70, 80,000, right? That's why we're talking about profit taking mode because it's going to have the super cycle correction is the way I see it. People are like, oh, this is the super cycle. Yo, for real, if Bitcoin breaks 100K, that's a straight up super cycle. And if you have a super cycle pump up to the upside, you're going to have a super cycle crash to the downside. And that's going to be the historic nightmare crash that nobody's ready to see. So I'm just very prepared for that. And I'm prepared to seriously make a lot of money on that next bear market. Because I'm, I'm honestly going to sell almost all of my crypto by the time we hit that 80000 um, I'm going to start selling it about 80,000. If it keeps going, I'm going to keep selling. And I ideally will have literally exited almost all of my crypto positions at that point, all on USDC. I'm going to put that USDC in a block five. I'm going to get paid 8% a year on that. And then once we get that nightmarish crash back down to 20 K Bitcoin, and there's going to be like maybe a couple of weeks where you're going to see new cipher all the way back down to these kinds of prices, you know, after after it goes to like four bucks, you know what I mean, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to go to four bucks. That all depends. But I'm just saying like it could go to four bucks. XRP could go to 10 bucks. Um, Band protocol could go to freaking 50 bucks. You know what I mean? Like this is about to be ridiculous. So 
I'm saying that no one wants to be holding a bag of coins that went from 50 bucks to six bucks. But I think that is what's going to happen. So I'm going to be selling all that, put it on USDC coin, and I'm going to reaccumulate, literally looking to reaccumulate at the prices that we see right at this moment. Does that make sense? Literally, like that's this thing is going to crush people's hearts on that correction. So I'm already, my brain is already oriented to the profit taking massive correction nightmare that I think we're going to see post 80K Bitcoin. Um, and that's what you got to be prepared for. Hey, the last guiding principle I'll leave you with is when you're taking those profits, okay? It's hard. It's hard to take profits when the when the market is ripping. But what you got to do is you got to be grateful. Remember gratitude. If you 5x your money, honestly, more like if you 10x your money. I know, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you 10 if you 10x on something, you better be worshiping God, thanking the universe for that because that's free money that you just got. So if you have that f- gratitude mindset, it's much easier to take profit. So I'm saying use gratitude as your drishti and look for that gratitude around between 5 and 10x, knowing that, you know, things might go higher than that. You know, things might go higher than 10x. I know this is crazy, right? I'm seriously loaded on band protocol. I'm seriously loaded on curve, on new cipher, chain link. I'm I'm just telling you guys, Litecoin. I'm loaded on all of these. Seriously deep loaded. Loaded on Ethereum. This is might be my biggest position. SNX, I'm pretty sure right now is my biggest position. I, I, I loaded like a psycho lunatic right here. Anyway, guys, get ready. This is literally about to be stupid. Absolutely stupid. I'm looking for that super cycle pump up to about 100K. I'm taking profits at 80K. And we're going to see that nasty, nasty correction. But that's when you guys are going to get in. You guys are going to get in on the bear market after you made all that money from this huge pump. You see that? That's how this works. This is going to be ridiculous. So get ready. Get your mind right. Think about gratitude. I will see you on Tuesday. Okay. Get, I'm I'm going to crush your guys' skulls on Tuesday. I literally have a paradigm-shattering moment for you for Tool Tuesday 34. So good, dude.